Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel to a new video. We are happy to announce our new upcoming instructor-led online training on SAP BTP CAPM, Cloud Application Programming Model. It's a basic to advanced training starting from 8th of February. There is a huge demand in the market for SAP BTP resource with the CAPM experience. If you would like to become a part of uh, this training, you can enroll with all the details given in the description. So let's start. What is a CAPM first? Let me just give you an example. Imagine that you are going to build this new house. Now to build this new house, you need to plan all the uh, all the basic stuff like the materials. You have to plan for the design, you know. You have to plan for the tools to make this. You have to give a contract to a construction company. So everything you have to plan from scratch, right? And when you plan this everything one by one, of course, you have to uh, like, you know, the process would be much more, uh, you know, time consuming. But if I just give you an example, like if you have everything in place, like you are, if you have like your materials, all the materials are in place, you will require all the tools are in place, you know, all the construction company, blueprint document, everything is place, then definitely the process would be much more faster, isn't it? So here, this CAPM is this pre-packaged kit is providing for the software application development. So what is CAPM then? So CAPM in a very simple terms, a cloud application programming model is just like a toolkit provided by SAP to help developers to build application more easily and efficiently. So here, this particular main process, it will the main highlighting point what SAP is giving it. You can build it more easily and efficiently. Now let's understand then what is the major pain points for a traditional SAP application development. Now when it comes to a normal development, we have to always plan like what is the IDE or the development environment that is going to choose for your development. What is the framework that you're going to choose for your development? It may be anything. It may be your UI5, Fury. It may be Java. You know, it may be .NET. What are the framework that you want to give it? So everything has to be planned. And what are the necessary libraries that support to that framework that also need to be considered. When it comes to a normal development, you have to write down all the code manually for your applications. You have to plan for the database schema. You have to plan for your services that is going to connect to your front end. You also need to build the front end as well. So every component you have to build separately and merge together for an application development. And you're also writing, while writing the manual code, you have to ensure that the code does follow the best practices. And also it will be a scalable code and also it can be maintained properly. So everything has to be maintained. Every steps is very important and it's kind of a pain point for a normal traditional application development. You also need to think about the authentication mechanism, the, the monitoring section, the logging and everything. So this is the common problem for every application development. Now, how CAPM is solving this problem? So CAPM is providing a development environment where business application studio become the development environment for your for your application process development. So you need not to think about anything else. You can have some some other options like Visual Studio Code and all, but they have given some standard options. It is also it, the CAPM itself is a framework where you know you can able to create a database schema. You can able to create a service. You can also able to create a front end UI application using CDS. So all these things are compiled together and it can be used to you know, build all the processes like a database, the like service and the front end in a single, you know, a place that you need to go here and there. It is also capable to, you know, I mean, integrate with SAP service or non SAP service also available. And it is also kind of a cloud native application where you can host your application to SAP BTP. So everything does actually make the application process much more faster and efficient. That's why SAP CAPM is going to become a game changer. Now, what are going to uh, what are you going to learn in this course? So, if if you are planning to have this course, if you are very new to SAP BTP, so we are going to give you a basic overview about SAP BTP. You will create a basic SAP BTP trial account, configure everything. 
as you know like when it comes to the advanced uh, level of sap capm at that time you would be required some sort of a knowledge on javascript and node js we'll take care of your understanding of javascript and node js if you're not having any expertise on that we'll take care of that as well we'll give you a basic overview about cds as well we'll configure all the necessary services there in btp like sap hana cloud business application studio work zone because you're going to host this application to work zone so we'll be able to develop the application capm once every setup is done and we will take some proper use cases to build this capm application from scratch once the application has been developed we will deploy the application into sap btp and configure in sap work zone as a site so here you'll get an exposure to understand about sap work zone sap btp process and sap capm definitely and then the application uh, database schema that you are I mean, actually consuming in capm ultimately we are going to deploy this application into hana cloud as a database so there also you'll get an exposure to understand about hana cloud how to deal with that how to configure that as well we'll also connect our capm application to the on premise s4 hana server this server access will be given to you once you enroll this course so we'll connect our s4 hana server to the sap btp via cloud connector and consume it in our capm application so then we'll just carry going we'll be going to the some uh, an advanced level of uh, programming where we'll be create some custom logics filter sorting some sort of an image upload and some more other uh, advanced functionalities then uh, we'll show you like how you build a capm application with with right right of so many of code which is required for your normal day to day life also we'll give you some tricks like how can you create a capm application kind of a low code technique using visual editor mode and at the last we will introduce you this sap jewel uh, which is a part of sap build code the new generative ai assistant and we using that how will you be able to generate a capm application so all together it will be definitely going to be a fun uh for all of you to understand a new technology in a more efficient way so who can enroll this course if you are an ui5 fury developer you want to upskill yourself to the sap btp and capm area definitely this is for you if you are an abab developer if you'd like to upskill yourself into this cloud native application development using cds this is for you if you are a btp developer you definitely need to join this sap capm uh, course and if you are a fresher new to sap world definitely it will going to help you to understand sap capm would be really a great portfolio like portfolio for all of you for your resume so i hope everybody will be uh, joining this session so thank you so much from the zapier team